Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview questions for SQL PL SQL developers. So in this video, we are going to see about how to create index and how to find the list of indexes for already a given table. So before watching this video, if you are watching this video for the first time, I would recommend you start the uh, series from uh, question number 18 because uh, all these questions are like index related series. I just started from uh, previous uh, uh, video. So because this is uh, in continuation from the previous video so that you'll, you'll be able to understand better. So in this video, we'll see how to create index and how to see the uh, list of indexes for a given table because this, this is very much important. Why you need to uh, know the uh, existing indexes? Suppose if you want to go and create a new index for a table, before that you should know that whether uh, the table has a particular index or not. Then only you should create it. And one more time, one more thing, when you, when you, once you create it, you just want to see what are all the existing indexes. In fact, all the information about the, all the existing indexes of a table so that you will be able to understand better whether your uh, particular index will be used or not. Okay. So in this uh, video, uh, we'll, we'll try to understand the syntaxes of how to create uh, index, uh, like index for various different types of indexes and where to find all these metadata information for the, for the indexes. So again, as, as I usually say for this index related question, uh, this set of question is uh, one such question which you cannot avoid in any PLSQL interview questions because this can be asked at uh, any level of uh, expertise level. Okay, so now what we are going to see is we are just going to create five different types of index now. Like we are going to create a B tree index, bitmap index, function based index and reverse key index and we are going to create one composite index. Though a composite index we won't say as one type of index but we are just going to understand the what is a simple index and what is a composite index and we are going to create one composite index as part of this. Once we created all these five index we'll see where to find all this information about the indexes. So here is a employee table called emp underscore t. Uh, we are going to create uh, the indexes on top of this table. The first okay before starting the index creation uh, the DDL statement to create the index is create index. Okay, for all the types of indexes, the create index statement would look similar except a few additional keywords to distinguish the each type of index. We'll start with B tree index. This uh, syntax is very straightforward. You say create index, then followed by a index name. So you need to give a name of the index. Then on is a keyword you need to say on which particular table followed by the name of the table. So this should be your name of the table on which you are going to create followed by the column on which you are going to create the index. So here we are creating the index on the employee number column. Okay. Uh, typically we'll create the uh, B tree index on a column where the data is uh, distributed uh, equally, not very equally. It's, it's completely distributed. For example, a column which has like wide range of informations like a student register number or an employee role number. So such a column because those columns will not have any duplicate or sometimes the columns will have very, very less duplicate. That means it, it, the number of duplicate record in that inf, uh, particular column should be very, very minimal. So I just want to tell you uh, why we are creating all these each index type. But all these things we'll see in detail when we talk about each specific index in a uh, upcoming video. Okay. So time being, you just keep it in mind that uh, B3 indexes will be creating on a column where the uh, data is widely distributed, such like a, a employee number column or like a student uh, register number, something like that. The next type of index what we are going to create is a bitmap index. So the uh, syntax is uh, almost similar except that uh, we are going to add a keyword called bitmap. So this keyword says that we are going to create a bitmap. So you will say create bitmap index is a keyword followed by the name of the index on table name followed by the column on which we are going to create the bitmap index. Okay, so bitmap index typically will create on a column or it is recommended to create on a column which has very very less number of distinct value. So in this case, we are creating on department because this particular column will have only three distinct value like 10, 20 and 30. 
So these bitmap columns are recommended for a column where the number of distinct values are very very less such as like a grade column which will have either pass or fail, a gender column which will have either a male or a female, uh, a status column which will have yes or no. So these kind of columns only typically will create the bitmap index. So the next index what we are going to create is a function based index. Suppose if I create an index on an employee name column because I feel that I'm, I'm using this column very frequently in my where condition. So I want to create an index on employee number, name column. But the once you created an index on a, uh, any column and if you use a function on top of that column, then Oracle will not use the index. So instead what we can say while creating the index itself, we can give that particular function. So you can see the rest of the syntax are similar. The only difference is we are using a function as part of the index creation statement that is as part of the column here. So once we define this, the indexed data will be stored along with the function converted value. Okay, so that is why this is called function based index. So once you have created a function based index, so whenever you use this particular function, like whenever you say select star from this employee t where upper of ename equal to some name then this particular index will be used as part of the execution okay so this is the function based index the next index what we are going to create is called reverse key index so the syntax still here is exactly the same the only difference at the end will have a keyword called reverse so this is the reverse key index so there is one slight difference between the uh, B tree index and reverse key indexes in B tree the index values are exactly stored as it is whereas in reverse key the index values will be reversed then it will be stored in the B tree so reverse key index is also another variation of B tree only but only difference is the indexed values are reversed we'll see in detail in what scenario you need to use a B tree and in what scenario you need to reverse key in the next videos because there we are going to see about each and every index in detail and why we need to use what is the advantage of that and what is the disadvantage and in what scenario you need to use that okay so i here i just want to give you the syntax and basically i just go, want to give you one liner saying that in what scenario we'll be using this particular index just to uh, give you the point with respect to reverse key index to avoid the index block contention we'll be using this reverse key index so what i mean by index block contention is the moment you create an index it will be uh, in a B tree it will be equally distributed suppose uh, let us consider one scenario uh, where a student you are storing a student and his their mark information suppose like 90 percent of the information uh, students has got mark between uh, 90 to 100 and only 10 percent of students has got uh, marks between like 0 to 90 so in that case when you try to create a B tree index on the uh, mark column uh, the data will not be equally distributed though it is a B tree like 90% of the marks lies between 90 to 100 and all these row IDs will be uh, available in a certain blocks of the index. So this is a, called the index contention to avoid that we will be actually reversing the key values then we will be storing. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain in bit detail with examples in next set of videos so right now you just keep it in mind that the index block uh, to avoid the index block contention we will be using the reverse key index. So the next type of index is the composite index. So in all these four indexes, whatever we have saw till now, that we have created on top of just only one column. You can see in B tree index, we created on employee number. In bitmap, I just created on department number. Uh, in uh, uh, function based, also e name, and in reverse key, we just created on the salary column. So in a, a composite index, we'll be creating more than one column. So we can see here, create index index name on employee table. So this is the learning here job comma department so you you'll be giving multiple column the reason why you need to give multiple column is so this is the exact same set of column you will be using in the where condition so when you are frequently using multiple columns in a where conditions so based on the need we'll be creating the mm -hmm. composite index so this is just a basic introduction about how to create the index and a single liner to say in what scenario i'll be using we'll discuss in detail about the next set of videos but now we'll see once these indexes are created where should you go and check that metadata information of all these things or for an existing table how would you get to know what are all the indexes created on what column and in what order okay so these are the things we are just going to see now so keep it in mind three information one is like the name of the index the 
tab table name on which the index is created the type of index so these these are the three info info information we need to uh, get from the metadata tables so here is the employee table okay so the first index i'm going to create is the b3 index which is created successfully the next index is bitmap index the third index i'm creating is a function based index the fourth is reverse key index the fifth is a composite index okay one more very very important point just keep it in mind this is just for a learning i'm creating five different types of indexes on a single table but keep it in mind normally will though this particular table have only eight or nine column we are creating five different index but in a uh, typical in real time scenarios only on a need basis that to only for performance improvement will be creating index because just by creating indexes will not improve the performance because index creation have other uh, overheads also something like whenever you create a new index oracle has to manage it whenever a dml operation happens so there is a, a drawback also that we'll discuss uh, in later so here i am creating five indexes just for our learning purposes only i just want to show you by creating five different index so that we'll understand how to see these five different index in the metadata tables okay uh, now that we have created five different uh, indexes on this table now we'll see where to find this information you just need to remember only three data dictionary information related to index so these three uh, data dictionary will give you more than 90 percent of the inter index related informations to you the first one is called user underscore indexes so this will just give you the information about what are, what is the name of the index what are all the type of the index and on what table this particular index is created okay so if you can see we have just created five index like a b tree bitmap a function based a reverse key and a composite you can see the type of the index here so when you see it is a normal it is nothing but a b tree index when you see normal slash rev it is a b tree that is as i mentioned it is a b tree index only but it's a reverse key index so the the one which we created is a function based index which will be represented like function based index the next is a bitmap index the index type is bitmap so this will give you just the name of the index alone if you want to see the uh, column on which the indexes are created so there is another data dictionary called user index column user underscore ind underscore column you just search for a table name where you will be able to see the name of the index name of the table the column in which the uh, index is created okay so the second bitmap we have created on department the function based we have created on a column this i'll uh, just hold on i'll come back to this uh, part so the reverse key we have created on a salary so the composite index we created on two column okay so the it is based on job and the department you can see the order here so what is the order of the column we mentioned in the uh, thing okay so there is one more uh, data dictionary you need to see that is called user index ind statistics so this just gives uh, information some, uh, about how many distinct values are available in this indexes okay uh, average number of uh, uh, data available for this uh, leaf nodes and in this particular indexes coming back to the function based index so as i mentioned for function based index oracle will not display the column directly here okay uh, this particular informations are available in one more uh, data dictionary called user underscore ind underscore expressions so if you go to this particular uh, data dictionary table you'll be able to see for this particular uh, index name what is the expression we have defined in the index at the index creation time so basically you just need to keep it in mind like four data dictionary table like user indexes user column indexes user index statistics and user index expressions so these would give you like more than enough information about the indexes if you want any questions to be answered you can just drop in the comments or you can drop to this mail id if you have learned something new uh, please like this video subscribe and stay tuned to get updates on new future videos interview questions tips and tricks concept videos and sql practice questions uh, i'll be posting uh, performance tuning related uh, videos soon so, so stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching this video.